Today is a very special day. It is my birthday, October 20th. I was born 33 years ago, and I stand before you today excited to relaunch my YouTube channel. Now you're probably wondering, where have you been, Paul? And I'll spare you all of the stories and reasons that I wasn't on this platform. But if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been very active in redeveloping the message that I want to share with the world. And um, for my birthday, not only would I love it if you subscribed to my channel and gave this video the big thumbs up, but for my birthday, I would love for you to find a mirror, wherever it is, just find a mirror. You can even do it right here with me. Find a mirror, look at yourself in the mirror, and say these three words. I love you. Yes. I want you to say those words to yourself while looking yourself in the eyes. It may get uncomfortable. It absolutely will get uncomfortable. But this is the first step into changing your life. Yes. Self-love, I know that term gets thrown around all over the place, but self-love is the first step into changing your life. And I want to take today to share my story a little bit, uh, dive a little bit deeper into why I feel that I'm on this planet and why I feel so compelled to share on this platform. So when I was growing up, I was a very happy child. I'm, I was always smiling, always excited to be living. Um, and I wanted to lift people up whenever and however I could. Emotionally, sometimes I tried to physically, but uh, as a little boy, I was just all about making people smile. Now, as I got older and f moved into adolescence in my teenage years, I went through a massive weight gain. And it was really difficult for me. I, it was unexplained. I had a little bit of a sweet tooth, but nothing to the point that it would, it would make you gain the amount of weight that I did. I, mean, I don't know, my parents might say otherwise, but I took on a lot of pain from a lot of people. And On this day, my 33rd birthday, I am communicating to each and every one of you that my mission is to share love, self-care, self-compassion, and empower you to know that you are worth it and you deserve everything. I wish that there was someone like me to share this message with 10-year-old um, Paul. So moving through my life, I struggled with my sexuality, I struggled with uh, my identity as a human being, where I fit in. I had a lot of female friends, not a lot of male friends, and um, when I came into my own, uh, I still struggled connecting with men and that was something that I really strongly wanted and it, of course it didn't strike me until later that um, I desired the companionship of a male beyond a friendship and when I finally came to terms with this my weight started to melt off of me. I'll say that again. When I came to terms with who I was, embraced not only my sexuality, but my love for life, I almost overnight lost 20 pounds. And then it was just a snowball effect. 
by loving myself more, I, I cared more about the things I put in my body. I wanted to exercise. I wanted to spend time doing things that lifted me up instead of brought me down. And I share this with you because I hope that my story can inspire you. Because not everyone has to take the same path as me. Not everyone has to move through a, a self-loathing phase and then, you know, dig and bury it even deeper and hate themselves and then from there emerge from the ashes as a phoenix. Uh, it doesn't have to be like that for you. Every single day, if you can look at yourself in the mirror and just say, I love you, but really mean it. I'm not talking about like the social media, like, hey, I love you guys. Like I'm talking about this real, like passionate, I love you. And it's not vanity, it's truth. It's truth within you. You deserve to be loved by yourself. You deserve to experience life, work through your moments. And I just really, really, really passionately wanted to share that with you. So on my birthday, I hope that you can take this as permission to just love yourself no matter what. Because when you love yourself, the changes that you want for you and the things that you want to accomplish, they will start to happen. They will. So if you haven't already, find that mirror, look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you love yourself. You deserve it. And I feel the love from you and appreciate it so much. So thank you for that gift. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I will see you next time. <laughs> In the meantime, just love yourself, boo.